The preparation work for any horse show starts months in advance. You know, you're always practicing right before the show. The prep is all around getting both yourself and your horse ready. We are sisters. Well, we've both showed for over 65 years. And we've been coming to the Iowa State Fair a lot longer than that because our parents had saddlebreds and were in society show. They had trainers that showed their horses. The society show is a very important show to many people in Iowa. They work all year. They go to other shows in preparation for the Iowa State Fair. But it's kind of the culmination of our good summer's work. The Jacobson Exhibition Center is one of a kind. It's very large, you can keep away from other horses, and the best part is it's air conditioned. It's just a very nice place to show. In Arabian and half Arabian native costume open, the class is to depict the sheiks in the desert riding across the sand. The horses show at the walk, the canter, and the hand gallop and you're looking for a horse that has a very animated and pretty canter. So they're lifting their front legs. And then when you get to the hand gallop, of course, that's where you want them to cover more ground. So the Arabian breed of horse, of course, was developed in Arabia. Very, very old breed. Arabian blood is found in lots of other breeds that we have in the U.S., so it's very much a foundation breed to a lot of others that were developed after it. Saddle seat equitation, 17 and under. 17 and under is the age of the rider. Saddle seat equitation is focused on the rider and how they ride and how they present their horse. Do they sit correctly? Do they have good control over their horse? Are they able to have it perform what's being asked at the particular time that it's being asked? And it's how they use their different aids. And so the aids are how do you use your hands? How do you use your legs? How do you use your body weight? All of those things are aids in being able to direct the horse to what you want it to do. We have both been very privileged to be inducted into the Iowa Horsemen's Hall of Fame. Each year between two to three, some years there were four, members that have promoted the horse industry in the state of Iowa have been inducted. Over the years that we've shown, we've gained a lot of friends and you don't see a lot of the exhibitors except at the shows. And it's always exciting to see them again from year to year and from show to show. And it's just good friends for a lifetime. Open Country Pleasure, Country Pleasure Division exists in many of our breeds that are here at the show. What the Country Pleasure Division depicts is, this is the horse that I would get on and ride down the road. I'm going to go from my farm to my nearby town and I'm going to ride this horse. So I want it again to be very mannerly but comfortable to ride. And of course, it's my horse, I'm going to town. I want it to be as fancy as possible too. Being an open class, it can be any kind of horse that fits that description. And pleasure in all classes means a well-mannered horse. It's horses that are following their rider's commands at the right time. Of course, we want them to be showy, but manners is always the paramount in every pleasure class. Open Western Pleasure, again pleasure meaning manners, but now we're talking with Western attire instead of some type of English attire. So traditional Western saddle, chaps for the riders. Open means that it's open to any exhibitor. So some classes are restricted to amateurs, some classes are restricted to junior exhibitors, but when it's open, it's any rider. It can be an amateur, a junior uh, exhibitor, or a professional trainer. I think as a judge, every time you look at that horse and that rider, are they doing what you expect it to do? And then how good are they doing it? Are they just doing it? Or, you know, so are they average at doing it? or are they special at doing it? And, and that's what you have to weigh out.